Hi there, the name's Nico, and today I want to go over everything you need to know about food this season. If you are a returning player and are like me, you see a lighter and immediately pick it up because you want to craft fried chicken or steak. Well, those items are deleted from the game now, so it's time to stop grabbing the lighters and learning what the best foods are this season. If you are a new player and want to know what food is, it's basically the equivalent of health packs in other games. It recovers your HP over a period of time. If you eat a food that says it gives you 750 HP, this food will give you this HP over a 15 second time period, not immediately. So make sure you eat your food early in a fight to get the most benefit from it. So food works a little differently this season. Instead of before where you could combine food or use lighters to make a wide variety of food, you need to go to a campfire. There are static campfires located around the map located at these locations, but you can also find portable campfires as a drop from mutant animals. All you need to do is sit beside a campfire and suddenly you'll see a bunch of food options as long as you have food in your inventory. And then you just need to craft them. I did want to note that there are some food items you don't need a campfire for, such as healing potions, but these items are more scarce. Now you might be wondering what food you should be making. Well, I'll be going over what I believe are the top 5 foods to be making this season. If you saw the thumbnail, you might have noticed familiar or unfamiliar food. This is called a breakfast sandwich. In my opinion, this is the best food in the game right now. Now what makes this food the best? Well first of all, all you need is bread and meat and you start with two pieces of bread at the start of the game. Bread can also be found in chapel, hotel, hospital, police station, gas station, and school which is currently called warehouse for some reason, and meat is found on every animal except for bats and dogs. All you need to do is toast the bread and then add meat to it and you're done. This food provides 675 HP which is the second highest HP you can get from a rare food, being behind tandoori chicken, which gives 750 HP. But this item is only obtainable from a supply box, so don't combine your water and bread at the beginning. Either save the water if your character needs SP, or drink the water immediately and use the bread at a campfire. The next best food in the game is Hawaiian pizza. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy behind Hawaiian pizza, but in my opinion, Hawaiian pizza is so good. Let me know in the comments if you are a Hawaiian pizza lover or hater. But besides being delicious in real life, this food is delicious in game, providing you 822 HP. To make Hawaiian pizza, all you need to do is find a frozen pizza in a box and take it to a campfire. Now the reason this item isn't the best food in the game in my opinion is because you can only find one frozen pizza per zone, which means it doesn't follow loot distribution logic. So you have to search every box in the zone to guarantee finding the frozen pizza. If it was more easily obtainable, it definitely would be the better food. Now the next two food items are tied, and those items are salmon steak and sweet potato. Both foods provide 822 HP. The way you get these items is from gathering either cod or potatoes. Both salmon and a yellow sweet potato have a 20% chance from being picked up instead of the normal item, a cod or potato. Then you just need to take this item to a campfire and cook it. Now each time you fish or gather, you only get one fish or potato, so that's why it isn't higher on the list. Plus, there is a waiting period before you can gather or fish again. Next is fish and chips. This food might surprise you being here considering the previous seasons it was difficult to make, but they've made the recipe significantly easier and it still provides a ton of HP. All you need to do is catch cod and gather potatoes, go to a campfire, make your fish cutlet and french fries, and then combine them. The reason why it's easier this time is because carp have been removed from the game and you can catch cod in stream. So all you need to do is gather the potatoes in temple, then walk into stream, and there's a conveniently placed campfire for you to cook. This food gives you 750 HP, which is one of the best foods in the game, which is why I'm saying it's the fourth best food. And the last campfire food you should know about is sizzling steak. It's basically the same as steak from previous seasons. All you need to do is take meat to a campfire, then cook. This food only gives 550 HP, which is okay. The reason it's up here is because of its convenience. Don't have any food, just kill a chicken, grab the meat off it, then go to a campfire. Or you might find a portable campfire and you can just cook it immediately. Now a bonus food that would be good to know is healing potions. This is because you can make this food without the need for a campfire. All you need to do is find flowers, an oriental herb, and a glass bottle. Combine the flower and oriental herb to make an orchid. Then combine the glass bottle to make healing potions. You get three healing potions for every craft, so this is good enough to use until you find a campfire. This food provides 625 HP, 
which is better than steak, but not as good as breakfast sandwiches. So these are the best foods in the game right now, in my opinion. I hope that when you hop into a game, you aren't panicking about what food to make. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more Journal of Journal content, and I hope to see you at the next video.